Hello there everyone and welcome back to the English Civil War. So this is most likely the last video and as you can see I've moved my, far my army from Oxford over to the East Midlands and we're about to draw into combat here. I have a slight advantage in number of troops although all over the, uh, the battle or the, the war is going very much in my favor especially now since Scotland decide to raise an army in my favor of uh, 975 points which we will be able to crush this smaller one and we're sieging in London which hopefully will fall as well and uh, this is most likely the last battle so let's go ahead and start this one we should have uh, quite a bit of trained troops for this one and uh, yeah uh, boom, the royalist turn, let's see what we should set up, we have nice hills here, and then the enemy has not so nice places, well obviously we want the cannons up here, and we want these cannons up here, so we can fire over our troops, but otherwise, I think, um, the formations look fine, so, Let's go ahead and start this. Oh, actually, we have a small cannon over there. I want you on the hill as well. It's a bit far out there since it's the middle of the cavalry. Mm, can I have them back here? So we have one cannon up there, the other one behind. Oh, no, no. Maybe more closer to that one. So, here we go. It's quite a few enemies, but um, whatever the, I think whatever the outcome really, even if I lose, which is I think very unlikely, um, oh the enemy has a lot of cavalry and unusually little footmen in this army. We should be able to beat these bastards quite fast. We've got really strong positions here, I think. Unlike the enemy. Let's see, having the troops move up bit of dragoons here but I think we'll we'll have these just stationed where they are right end turn parliamentarians starting to march with us which I like because uh, I have the very nice hills there We've got one veteran troop of the parliamentarians out there. I don't think we had one on our side. They have quite a few uh, reserve ones as well. And there's no cannons on the uh, parliamentarian side. It's quite a bit of these commander shot and dragoons on this side, which could cause a problem for us. But yeah, I should have turned it, not moved that far. Uh, can I turn you? See if you can actually fire there later on. Ah, these cannons can fire.
see. Keep marching. Keep on that marching boot. And they will hold and end turn. A big concern there on the right because the uh, there's more enemies here. That's why I've moved up the cavalry maybe earlier than I wanted to. The enemy seems to be advancing in good order. Nothing really to say about this. As they usually do, the infantry advance and then the cavalry follow. Oh! That's unexpected, but I guess the... Um, the parliamentarians are a bit, sort of... Uh, uh, what should I say? They're a bit... Um, desperate at this, at this point. Well, the first thing I have to do is I'll have to retake that position by charging these guys away. I don't think we'll actually be able, yeah, we won't be able to hit anything. Well, actually, I could have yeah, I could have this one move over here, so I didn't have to do that. I think we need to target this one quite a bit. I think that was all of them. No, this one needs to fire. And you can't fire, so hold. And I like the, uh, the sort of formation I've managed to got here. Like this straight line and then I have the hills behind me with cannons on them. So I'm liking this right now. Yeah, we need to focus on him. The veteran needs to fall. And then the rest of them will see. Oh, the veterans of the war are running. It, we're doomed. The, the uh, parliamentarian cause is lost. And the king has won. very good position for my horseman here. Mm. Pretty nasty hits actually. Rallied! them let's focus in on this one that was a good hit usually good
Moving through the marsh. Probably not that good, but we're only trying to push these guys away, so. Won't do too much harm, I think. Yeah, and these guys will. Actually, we can move them here. And then we'll turn them around and come into the flank, because now we actually probably might actually get a good flanking attack in there that isn't that isn't going to be covered by the enemy uh, enemy troops. Ouchie. Good. Getting rid of those bastards. It's a bit shame though to uh, waste cavalry on that. To have them run away like that. Oh, he's going close. It seems to be um, seems to be going fine. Not any major problems are popping up right now. And looking at what they have back there, all the reserves, if I break anything in the front and it runs past those uh, clubmen and all that crap they have in the back, we get a mass route. Flanking force has arrived. Ah, it's my flanking force that has arrived. Nice. Rallied. Command and shot can now be. Uh, let's see what we get. Ah, three cavalry units. Very nice get up there. I know what happens. We saw what happens if you get charged while sort of positioned there. Let's get rid of you guys. Have you ready to charge this guy? Turn. Fire. Cannon. Fire. Fire. 32. Um, no, not, not advance, I was going to turn you, uh, right, turn now then. Ooh, 50% chance of victory there. Mmm, nasty. the one I was focusing on, right? I think. Or one of them, at least. Actually, they've uh, lost men sort of equally around here. Yes, no more moves, and turn. I feel as though it's gonna go quite badly on the right. 
Or at least for the cavalry. Since the enemy had numbers there. Nice. I think we will be able to crack their uh, infantry. They've got a lot more units that have been disrupted on their side than compared with ours. It might be the fact that even though if we're maybe taking more casualties, it might be uh, our men are more steady and will hold a lot better compared with uh, compared with the enemy's troops. He got disrupted. I guess he moved through the marsh and then attacked. So he got disrupted by charging us there. And residual shooting face. See if we can get some more destruction. How did he fire? Fragment. That's nice. Royalist turn. Gonna go ahead and take a look here first. This one. This guy's back. So you should turn around. Um, you can't charge this for some reason, so charge this one. Good. Uh, let's see. You know what, we need to just lock you down. It's probably better to be... How are you blocking our advance on these guys? Uh, move up. Maybe turn. Fire. Get a better arc of fire there. Fragmented, nice. Opens them up for a charge. This one's actually already open for a charge. Let's see if we can but just bring everything with us as we go. This one will follow up and he can, later on he can charge, he can be the one to charge rather than the one that's have old muskets. This one's about to break so we want to lock it here so he can't get out. Charging and then We'll put in the cavalry in there as well. Kaboom. You will turn now because your work is done there. Uh, it's a risk of you being charged, so run away. But if you go through here and charge and then you can go here and you will just hold because I don't want you to follow once he breaks and we need this guy to move up to A and then the two cannons and then you will go over there probably uh, help out here in the center and end turn.
fragmented. Good. Don't think it's gonna go too well down here. But we need to hold them there. I have a, I think I have a really good opportunity to just wipe out their just entire front line. Pretty darn soon. We are oh, rallied. I think we'll start to see uh, their men crumble pretty darn soon. More and more of them will become fragmented as this goes along. Breaks. Ah. Well, I was never planning on that force, so to do to be part of my plan. So maybe not too uh, not too bad. Residual shooting. I never did well with the cannons, but I think that um, oh, quite often I lost the cannons. So if, if they would have survived through the engagement, they probably would have been a lot better at actually inflicting damage. But because I imagine that with such thick formation of infantry pike and shot moving around that it would be really easy to hit them with cannon fire oh look at that there's loads of breaks going on there as the veteran broke on the right uh, left uh, their right our left Two units dispersed in the middle there, just complete chaos going on. Uh, we'll probably. Oh no, I was. Oh, I was going to turn it. Bloody hell. See if you can get that one. You will go for this guy. And you will see about helping out over here. Let's go bold and just get rid of everything. Man, that's a lot. Draw the sword and charge. But they charge, but so does the fire. Nice. Yeah, it's a rout. We're breaking everything. Oh, 
away with you. We'll see a lot going down now since we have so many men. Look all across the line there, everyone's just charging at each other. Cracking heads. Bit of concern there with the complete flank going. Nice. Breaks. Fragmented. Can we have some units in the center break? Oh, break. I'm gonna win this pretty darn soon if this continues. That was, they lost a lot. That was probably one of the units we hadn't fired upon at all. There in the center. I wanted to throw everything in. King. And they try to retreat into the marsh. That's not gonna go well. There's a 26% advantage for us. We have 4% uh, of our force routing. The enemy has 30%. And it jumped up to 41% and 7% for us, giving us an advantage of 34%. Melee face. Now we'll see some breaks, I think. Oh, one of our broke. But it's the cavalry on the most extreme flank, so not too concerned about that. If we break the enemy here in the center and just tear through the infantry, that's just going to cover everything because the infantry formation contain a lot more men. So if you break infantry formation, that's going to count for a lot more than if you break cavalry, which don't hold as many men. Like those two, like a, a pike and shot unit holds like maybe 400 men. Ah, there we go. The enemy has lost heart. I am victorious. I am victorious. We had 28 men captured and deserted. They had 3,000. A wounded, 1,400 on their side, 800 on our. Killed, 1,200 roughly on their side, 400 on our side. And now we have a very small army up there with about 600 points. And we have the newly formed Scottish army poised to attack them. Or I could follow up with this army to uh, destroy them. Let's go ahead and end turn and see what the enemy does. They move to Oxford and then they move to London to fight a battle there. Um, which is probably going to be the l absolutely last battle because uh, when I win this there will be no chance of anything for the enemy. And I'm sort of surprised that I haven't won yet. It's one of those, Whoa, why are you still fighting kind of deal. I think the troops actually march further when they're marching on the road. I want to end this now, so we're gonna go bold. Got four bloody units of veteran, five units of veteran cavalry. And there we have it. Uh, yes, the enemy seem to have more numbers than us. 
but I am not too worried. If they have a lake there, we'll, we'll, we'll stop a large part of their flank. They have a veteran unit though, which we don't have any veteran units. I'm surprised that this goes on for as long as it's have now. I thought they would be almost completely crushed by this point. Oh, look at that. That's a lot more enemies. Bloody hell, where did all those idiots turn up from? With all those dragoons and crap, I won't be able to hold my left. Hmm. What is my plan? I think we'll have to uh, move some troops over to this side. Why do they... Point-wise, we were quite equal, but I guess the, the veterancy of my horse is uh, counting for a lot of the points on my side. And they just have a load of crap. Uh, average, above average, above average, average. Well, mine aren't that great either, I must say. Mixed foot, average. This one, I see a real possibility of losing because just the amount of enemies maybe I have troops that will uh, turn up in reinforcements it would be nice though if the game actually told you that reinforcements were on the way the muskets increase, but before they didn't reach this far, did they? turn I'm not sure how this is gonna go because all the enemies See what kind of charges we get because I don't think we can just sit and shoot. Then we'll probably lose, even though it's changed now, so we have an equal amount of uh, gunners. Or actually, most of these guys have more than per usual, don't they? Oh, this is going crap. Why didn't I even bloody well? Could I out resolve this or something? Let's 
see if we can get rid of some of these. It's a lot of like um, a little bit of uh, rough ground we have to move through if we're going to charge there. And if not, we'll have to move down here to sort of get around that, and then we have to charge uphill. Boom, let's see. I think it's going to go pretty badly for me this time around though. Which just prolongs a war which they cannot win at this point, I don't think. Given the fact that I have so much more of everything. They're really bold. They're going straight for it. Surrounded and shot by by all sides. I think we can uh, just we can slug this out, but I think it's better if we maybe retreat. Is there a way to retreat? Yeah, retreat from battle. Yes. Uh, the parliamentary leaders have sued for peace. You are victorious. However, uh, we have little doubt that they will attack again when the treaty expires or sooner. We must be ready. Six victories, four defeats. Province gained five overall prestige. 233. Uh, yeah, that was the campaign. Wow. Uh, they sued for peace, which I, I don't think we would have respected since we had everything going for us. Uh, but yeah, this was the English Civil War. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully you'll... Uh, yeah, you'll... What, whatever I say. Usually say. Stick around for another one. <laughs>